Hey guys, it's Shamar and welcome back to my channel. Girl, hey, what's up? What's poppy? You guys, we are about to go look at apartments and I am so freaking happy. This is one of the things that have just been on my brain to do. So yeah, today we're going to go look at some places and we've been flip-flopping back and forth on whether to move before baby or after baby. Um, so we still honestly... The decision is still not made and that's why if you watch my q a last time i said i don't think we were gonna move um but i just want to go look at some places and see what's out there and see if i could get into our own spot before she gets here um because i don't want to have to move with a newborn or move like the last minute of my pregnancy like i just need to get it over with now so instead of putting it off we're just gonna do it so i found a couple of places that i want to look at i also got a realtor person that is going to help us look at some places so that's why i said it's probably going to be in the next few vlogs but yeah you guys i'm here belly is here i try to put on out, out outfit today because i've like i've been in the house that's why the vlogs i don't know i don't know what's going on with the vlogs but i've been in the house i stay in the house literally all week i don't even go to the store most weeks i got up and I'm just like, let me shower and put some makeup on and put an outfit together. So this is my outfit. <laughs> Nothing fits me anymore. So that's why I'm laughing because the outfits are crazy. Like the bodysuits are it. Okay. The bodysuits are it. The pants. Chill. It's like, what else do you wear? I need to go get some leggings for like the last half of my pregnancy. But yeah. Oh, so let me just tell you guys what I'm looking for. So, for me, I've kind of like brought my expectations down because prices in Miami for a one bedroom right now is going to 2300 It's like the, the the nice spot for a one bedroom with nice for a nice apartment, in my opinion. What a nice apartment is, um, like modern, updated, and stuff. So. Paying twenty three hundred for a one bedroom is like literally crazy. But we're gonna look at some and see what's out there. Um, I like I said, a one bedroom, one bath. Um, I would love updated kitchen. I think that's like the the main thing. I would love a, a nice bathroom. Oh my god, if I could find a bathroom with two sinks, chef's kiss. Um, pretty basic. I don't like carpet. So I would rather not have a carpet, but because I'm having a kid, maybe a carpet is not so bad in the bedroom, but I don't like carpet. Um, what else? Nice size. I don't want to be wall to wall. Um, I want it, ideally, I would want it to be in a, a neighborhood that I can walk and do stuff when baby gets here, like so we could get out the house. Um... Yeah, what else? I don't know. I think those are my those are like my must haves right now. They're very basic, but just an updated kitchen, a nice bathroom with a tub, preferably because baby, and yeah, no carpet. So let's go see what we find. I know this is an awkward angle, guys, but I got some Chick Fil A. Is a spicy chicken sandwich Zillux. So it comes with all the little stuff on there. A mac and cheese with Polynesian sauce and a lemonade and fruit punch half and half. Cheese. So we gotta take off the pickles because we don't do that. I actually like pickles, but I, I don't know. Pickles on anytime they put pickles on a sandwich for me, that should be nasty. I just wanted to show you guys my order. I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Passion out in the sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. But you got desires. I know, I know. But you got desires. I know, I know. But you got desires. You got that fire. And I'm 
out of line. You hand me down on my knees, everything had to talk inside. I'm in an 80 and one of the twists, stiff and prior. I try to pay all your loans, I'll pick up you a job. I had to stand too close to the skinny, you acting too vulnerable, living this life. I still walk your way through this before I copy all this ice. You wanna be my number one? You're not hanging like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made a second chance. Push you somewhere when no one can find you. With nothing around you Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas You know a different environment You got desires I know was literally so disappointing um i just want to show you guys i think i'm gonna input a picture but the apartment that they just showed us they said it was supposed to look the picture online looks like this let me show y'all because um where did y'all see this when i just videoed because i didn't I saw this. Wait, where's that? I saw this. Yeah, that, that looks the same. But the room does not look like that. Absolutely not for me. They also didn't have in. Why am I zooming in? They also didn't have in units wash and dryer. You had to pay for a wash and dryer. No. Um, we're about to go to the next one. And hopefully, this other one is good. wasn't trying to do her job but it is what it is um she gave us the key for us to come check we're looking for a one one but they only have a two two to show so this wouldn't be the apartment that we were interested in honestly their price for a two bedroom is not even that bad either but we're looking for more so one one but they don't have any available right now i have to check to see when one will come available but actually i like this place um it's not bad what do you think so anyways i don't know what how i'm gonna find out because i just feel like how how so she told me that i have to go so i'm using a third party site to find these apartments she told me i have to go on the third party site to see when a one one comes available she in the leasing office does not have that information how does that make sense when you're on property? Wouldn't y'all know before the third party? I mean, wouldn't you be able to see that? Right. She, she was getting a way where she can see like the people that's getting ready. To exactly. To end. She has that information. She's just being lazy. She didn't want to no do her job from the moment we walked in. But whatever. Um, this is probably the best one that we've seen so far. Well, we only looked at two. Probably this kind of big. This is nice as well. If only this would be the view. This would be nice. I got a Yeah. Yeah, honestly, the tutu is, is nice as well. They don't have a washer dryer though. There's another closet. Do you see one? That would kind of be the only downfall. This room is very small, but it would be a cute little nursery. Um, honestly, we'll probably only do the one bedroom, but yeah, I don't see a washer and dryer. A 
That's like the only negative. Here we'd have to be going to a laundry mat. But oh, I can smell the laundry. But you got to pay for laundry. Let's see how it looks. Bring me back to my New York days. Third apartment. I can't even talk. Third ap apartment is small as heck. It's nice, but small. It ain't even that nice, though. Yeah, it ain't. The kitchen ain't shit, bro. It's, it, they, it's, the second apartment, we need that by any means. They're trying to make that shape, but it's just. They need to they need to go down to like that apartment that I just showed you guys is almost two thousand dollars. Twenty five hundred twenty five dollars off from being two thousand for that. You can't even fit a queen, a king size bed in the room comfortably with a dresser. There's there was no dresser in there. Oh, I said peace. Um the kitchen and the dining room and the living room is this big. They got creative but absolutely not and they're charging four thousand dollars for the moving cost not including it's like first month and deposit it's four thousand dollars so damn they're two thousand dollars for a deposit twenty five hundred dollars almost really which is unheard of so yeah that's definitely not it and i think that's it for today as far as looking at apartments Miami sucks. Get that's me out of here. That's the man over there, but we ain't even gonna go to, I ain't gonna do that to you. Get me out of here. Let's go look at it. No, Let's go look at it. Son. But yeah, you guys, it's a bus. The other place that could be a potential don't have any availabilities and probably won't because their price is just the best for the best you could get for your money. Nobody trying to move out of there. So, I don't know. We're going to try to go through a realtor, but I don't think that makes sense. At this point, back to, the um, back to being stuck. We're moving! We're moving! Hey guys! Why you never have no shirt on? Because it's Mr. Bob the Builder himself. I'm going to break him up this shit. Break it, baby! Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode on Shamar Chantel's channel featuring me and my baby girl. I'm redoing her room right now. Guys, first, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna insert how it all started just so you guys know we are moving. We're moving. <laughs> We're moving <laughs> into a new room. Okay. That's, that's the update. I know it looked very bright, but. Yeah, so that's the update. We're moving into a new room, a bigger room, and we are renovating. Um, we're still staying in Bigo's parents' house. Um, but yeah, that's the big update that I wanted to give you guys. Um, I'm gonna insert how the room looked before. This room has been like this for like over 20 years. So keep that in mind when you see it. It's been the same way for 20 years. Hey you guys. So we are here at Home Depot <laughs> because we're gonna be renovating and I'm taking you guys along. It's gonna be a whole series, a whole process. You ain't even gonna be doing no work. Me and Nugget will be sitting back, critiquing, 
and directing. The first order of business is to pick out some paint. I'm gonna show you guys the room before and then show you guys the process. Like I said, it's gonna be a process, so yeah. But we're staying at Pico's Paint House. Um, we're gonna be renovating and getting ready for babies. So let's go. Are you guys excited on this journey? So I think for paint color, we're gonna go white. I'm just gonna get a big thing of white paint there. So this is the room. This is how we're looking. Um, I'm just giving you guys a 360. So shutters were on here. So we took off the shutters. Um, Pico's about to take out that shutter. We have a bathroom in here. So it's like an ensuite. So I'm just giving you guys an overall look of how everything is. And then eventually we're going to work our way into renovating. So first order of business today is to repaint. We're getting rid of the blue. We're also going to switch out um, both ceiling fans to these new lights that we picked up at Home Depot. We're also going to change the carpet. The carpet is so bad, but that's the color it used to be. And this is the color now. So obviously very bad. Um, I'm going to redo, like repaint the doors. I'm going to be redoing the closet. So just stay tuned, you guys. Um... I'm going to do something with this as well. Um, this is going to be our new room. I'm happy because there's a bathroom in here as well. Um, and I'm excited to for you guys to see what we do. I'm not going to say too much. You just have to come along for the process. Um, opening the shutters already makes it so much brighter. And like our view is going to be so nice. I didn't even think about that. We're going to have a view of the... Thing. You can see when the sun sets and stuff. We got Nick in here working. Like I said, I'm just here to direct. What happened? That one can't open? I'm you think this is your college room or what? Right, Dad, come on, get a brush. Bookshelf. Oh, yeah, they don't have the um it's the white ones. But is it is that is it fine though? These are nice, but then we're gonna have to find a dresser that color. You already found one. No, I didn't. What's the dresser that you got in the store? Uh, That's for the baby side that you didn't want to see. All right, get them. Them cheap compared to what I've been seeing.
y'all can see the walls are white. I got it done. <laughs> I got it done. I don't know if she showed y'all in the last episode, but they were blue. Yep, they were sky blue. Okay. Everything is white now. The floors are down. I laid the floors myself. So if y'all need flooring done, y'all could my information, just follow my Instagram, Ocho 2.0. Or you can follow my fitness page, Pico Pico. I do flooring, I do walls. I, I would not I advise. Bring, bring I would not advise y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Flip the camera first. So we decided to come in, and you know I have to put my touch on it, something to make it feel bright, light, and fresh. It's so echoey in here. Anyways, um, we went to Home Depot. We got new paint. We got new floors. We got new lighting. We got new blinds and we still have to do the bathroom. So I'm just gonna show you guys where we are so far. And let, 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 me, let me let Pico do his thing because he's impatient, so. I would like the fact that you don't have no shirt on. About time. All right, y'all, as y'all can see already, the walls are like, I did the walls, I did the doors, I did the floors, man. Listen, I even put up the lights in there. You see the lights? Let me show y'all some of the little features that I put on these, these special lights. You only get these specially made by me. So I'm dropping the app. Now, this is just a test trial. The uh, application will be coming in soon. Just uh, show y'all this something first. So these lights here, I'm able to change colors. So a baby girl over here sleeping, daddy, she gonna love daddy. Daddy can change the red, the light pink. Show the people the light. They can see the light. All right. Pink, purple, we gonna learn our colors. I said, baby girl, what color is this? She gonna say the blue. <laughs> And then it's on both sides. It ain't on, it ain't on just one side. We got light right behind you. We're going to leave that in white for now. Come on over here. Over here, we don't have my, we got fingerprints on my door. Damn. <laughs> I put these doors up myself. I painted them. Hold on. <sighs> People call me for my work. I so I shut uh, you see that? You see that like that? Oh. I ain't bullshit. I painted the closet to everything with blue. I painted you still see the blue color. Chill out, chill out. <laughs> Nancy be tripping, but that's all we got done so far. We got blue blinds in here. I'm gonna go outside, clean the windows from the outside. And uh, yeah. Let me give them an idea of the room layout. All right, guys. So like I said, it's a bigger space. So this is kind of like the vision. Um, it's like two rooms in one, in a sense. So this... That's right. So this is kind of like our bedroom. There's an archway, show them the archway. There's an archway entering this section. So what I'm thinking is bed and nightstands because I want to put the bed right here because the door entering the room is diagonal. And I don't want like, as soon as you walk in, you see that. Stay tuned for that portion when I start decorating, but I think I'm gonna put in bed, nightstands, come out this way, follow me. And <laughs> go that way. Okay, yeah, so bed and nightstands over here. Um, and then when you turn, so we're gonna have space right here. I think I'm gonna leave this blank for right now. I might put a mirror right here. All right, like a full blank. Close mirror. the windows behind me. No. I might put a full length mirror right here and leave this space open or put like a recliner over here as well, depending on how much space the bed takes up. And then on this wall, I think I'm gonna have the TV kind of swings out so it faces the bed instead of just being flush against this wall and we can't see it from the bed. So you take your hands off the walls. My hands are clean. Just down Anyways, so yeah, probably have one of those things that swing out, right? Yeah, elbow. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna put a dresser here. Right? And just the right there. And I don't know what else yet. And then when you turn around, this is gonna be my daughter's room. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be nuggets. This is gonna be nuggets room. So instead of doing the other room into a full nursery like I was going to do. She's going to be in the room with us, so I might as well just give her her own space for now. And then by the time she's ready to be in her, in her own nursery, we'll probably be in our own place. So it don't make sense to redecorate that other room as well. So what I'm thinking is Nugget's um, crib 
right here. And then like her dresser and changing table over here. Um, and then I want to put a recliner or a chair, like I said. I don't know if I'm going to put it in our section or if I'm going to find a way to fit it over here. Whether in this spot, you're not turning the camera cameraman, in this spot right here or somewhere because the bathroom is over here. Now come into that. So, that thing that I love about the fact that we're moving, I'm out of breath, I'm sorry, I'm pregnant. Bear with me. Um, the other thing I love about moving into this room is that we have a bathroom in our room. And I just love that. Um, the bathroom has not been renovated as yet, so we have a lot to kind of do. You guys are gonna see it from what it looks like. It's the same, nothing has been changed. We're getting a new toilet. We're gonna repaint this and change the hardware. We're going to cover this top and then just like a really deep clean in here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the update. Am I right? That's kind of the update for our move moving series or move in series. And yeah, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Yeah, that's it. So I just had my baby shower. So that big event is out the way. So now it's really time to get ready for baby. I have about a month left before I'm due. So the first step is to get the room together. Um, we ordered a bed and baby had most of her things. So we're just gonna start putting stuff baby together. Got um, let me show you guys. So I'm in here sitting with the boys. It's literally the day after our baby shower. And they're putting up the bed first. And then we're gonna put up they might put up the nightstands too. We don't have a mattress yet, so I still have to get that. Um, but yeah. Hi, babe. What's up, y'all? Handyman Pico. You look dark, Yo, though. Oh, we got it on. Y'all want to try it this way? Let me see it this way. Yeah. Depending on how big the nightstands are, it's probably, probably going to have to do that way. If the nightstands are too big. I like it this way though, so. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm talking to my vlog. You like it better that way. It, I think it's up to her. I don't think you really get to decide it. I think this is on on Shimon. It's totally her, bro. Like whatever you want is the way to do it. It's so not pretty cool. Who's on the guy, Daddy? Hey, get me on there. I'm your godfather. Always in favor, baby. Get out. Go on. I'm your godfather. Go on, Roger. Guys. So I know I look crazy, but it's about, what time? Nine o'clock at night and I'm kind of rage cleaning right now. Um, I've been having Braxton Hicks um, today and it just kind of sent me into a little frenzy where I feel like nothing is ready for baby. So I'm here going through my drawers. You can see they're broken, don't mind that. But I have them out here and I'm just in the mood to throw every goddamn thing away. I want to throw everything away. I want my space to be clean. And again, we're not staying in this room. We're moving. Um, but we're also going to have this room as well. So I just want to start cleaning. Um, it's hard because I have minimum energy. Everything hurts a little bit right now. Um, like as far as squatting and picking stuff up. Um, and then again, I'm having the Braxton Higgs. 
so my stomach gets really tight and it feels like a cramp um which i'm paying attention to that and i'm um, timing them and stuff they're not frequent or back to back it just comes and goes um so yeah i just feel like in a panic like i said because i feel like i have nothing ready and i'm also in like super nesting mode where i feel like everything is dirty everything is cluttered everything is just a mess and i'm just i can't my mind is is not at ease right now and I'm, I'm like this without being pregnant. So now it's just heightened. And I don't know how to explain it to anybody. I was just talking to my sister about it. And she was like, it's going to come together, you know. Um, but I, I can't I can't sit down. I can't sit down. Just looking around makes me want to cry. <laughs> it just makes me want to cry. Because I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not right. But anyways, I just figured I'll just come on here and, sh and talk to you guys. I feel like a lot of times when I'm going through these things or having these thoughts, I don't vlog it if that makes sense which is not the best so i figured i'll just pick up the blog being that i'm already vlogging for this week so that's what i'm doing i'm kind of looking a little preggish today um pico's at the gym like i said it's nine o'clock at night but i just have to i just have to i'm like everything must go i'm never gonna wear these things again throw them out get rid of them I'm over it completely over it and a lot of times I save my clothes and try to give them to people and it just delays the whole thing and I have bags of clothes sitting around no I'm throwing it out throwing it out <laughs> gotta go and of course I'm gonna keep some things but yeah I just wanted to come and check in with you guys So we're on night two of getting the room together. So this is how the bed came out. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. My bad. I originally wanted this way, but the guys voted this way. In the end, it's ultimately my decision. So we'll see. Um, <clears throat> but now they're about to put together these nightstands. Okay, Show them the nightstand. Hold it. <laughs> Just hold it there. Hold the steady, people. Alright, so y'all can barely see. I'm gonna try to turn it upside down for y'all. There you go. Y'all can see the nice thing in a minute. Here comes my wife. And three, two, one. Your countdown was Shut your fat mouth. Don't give me. <laughs> So these are the nice things that we got. They're upside down, obviously, but we got them from Target. You know, curious to see how they look against the bed. Okay, night three. Um, we're working on the closet right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. But um, we bought these shelves from I um, not IKEA, Target. We got three of the five shelf bookshelf and they just put them together and we're just going to put them in here. Um, see, it doesn't go all the way up to the top, but I think I'm going to create, I think I'm going to create um, shelves up there and store stuff. So one is going to be babies, one is going to be mine, or two is going to be mines. I think this one is going to be babies. So we'll see. So I'm just checking in with you guys as the progress goes. Long well, return, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, pull them closer together. So we yeah. can do like you wanna go all the way this way? No, I need I want this over. 
because this probably gonna be the babies. And I can more so get, I can more so see all of that rather than see all of this. Does that make sense? So then we're gonna get three rods because I'm gonna be hanging my clothes here and here and then this is gonna be all babies so I'm gonna get two rods for her because her clothes is like halfway so one rod up here one rod down here and then these are going to be shelves with baskets and one for her shoes okay. and then these well, are going to be my stuff so on this side right here you just have a rod and your clothes are gonna drop down yeah down here you put in shelves yeah hey you guys <laughs> I don't even know how this vlog has been going but as you guys know, this is a part of our renovation series. Um, we are redoing the room. I look crazy, it's been a long day. Um, but we're redoing the room. You guys saw we did the bed. Um, funny story, we did this last night. This is baby girl's dresser um, right here. Um, I want it to be a little bit higher because it's really low. Like I need it to be higher. So I'm gonna ask my dad how I can how I can prop up the legs to make it higher. So anyway, so far we did this, we did the bed, and we did the closet that you guys saw last night. <clears throat> we also did the nightstand. We brought the nightstands back because Pico decided that, well, he mentioned, you know, we should probably just go with one tone wood for the baby side of the room and our side of the room. But I couldn't find nightstands. And then when he went to go pick up the things for the closet he found the same nightstands that we had in a natural wood like that so long story short we took the nightstands that we already built and brought them back to target today <laughs> and picked up the light lighter nightstands i'll put pictures here then we went to ashley's we actually went and bought a mattress today it was doing like running around we got mattress we got curtain rods curtains um, like little stuff to put the room together and then <laughs> we went to Ashley's the furniture store and we found the perfect dresser to go with the nightstands that we built not the natural light stands the darker tone or gray nightstands so we're like okay let's just go back to the target that we just dropped those off at like a couple of hours ago and grab them and give them back the natural Tell me why I went there and they were like, yeah, um, we already did some barcode thing and we can't give these back to you. So now we need to go find those same gray ones because of course <laughs> they didn't have them in that store. So we have to go to another store, find back the gray ones, build them again. And that's the, that, that, that's it. Um, we also have to go pick up the dresser that we ordered um, tomorrow because we went close to closing so they couldn't load it for us in the car so we're going to do that tomorrow so yeah just wanted to give you guys a check up big mama is tired we also just went and got sushi so kind of a little bit out of breath i'm going to show you guys a bunch of stuff that we bought today so we bought these adjustable rods for the closet that we're working on to put them right here to create like hangers and stuff and we're going to do that. Also picked up two rods. Let me sit y'all down. Can y'all see me better? Yeah? Is that better? Um, I found these two black um, curtain rods in Home Goods. So I picked these up. These adjustable rods are from Home Depot. Went there for that. Then I also found, very strangely in Home Depot, I also found blackout curtains. And I've been searching high and low for this color blackout curtains. And they're, ex they're kind of expensive for these. So um, I'm happy I found these are blackout curtain. And most importantly, they come with two panels in a pack. And it was only $24. So I'm 
So in total, I have four because we have two windows in here, one that's on the baby side of the room and one that's on our side of the room. So I just kept the same color um, because this color is going to go good with her crib and stuff as well. I um, also got a ton of stuff from um, Amazon for the bathroom that we're going to be redoing, but I want to do a TikTok unboxing. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute, but yeah, we don't have any furniture to put up tonight. The only thing left to put up is baby girl's crib, but I kind of want to put that up at the end. Um, I'm also waiting for something for it as well. So maybe next weekend I'm going to focus on putting up her stuff and maybe washing her clothes and stuff this week, this weekend, this week, I just want to focus on getting the room livable getting the main stuff in, start moving our clothes in, and cleaning, like decluttering. That's what I'm focused on this week, this week and weekend. So next week now, I'm going to just focus on baby stuff, um, organizing her stuff, unboxing all of her registry gifts. And that's probably going to be in Tone's video, probably like a, like a nursery type of video getting her stuff washed and packed away. I'm so excited. That's probably gonna be its old separate video, like a nursery set up with me video type of thing. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to check in. Um, what else? I don't know. Just... We're gonna be doing an Amazon unboxing. So we're gonna start with this box. Okay. So we're redoing the hardware in the bathroom. So I got this bathroom hardware set. It basically comes with a towel holder, um, a rag holder. Like you know those stuff that hangs up in your bathroom? So this is how they look. And of course I'm going matte black. So this is the towel holder. And then it comes with the rag holder that goes by the sink as well again matte black it's a whole set and i just i just love that like it looks so sleek and it also comes with like a knob but so that's one of the things that i got i also got some contact paper because Currently we have like a dark brown granite countertop for the sink and I want to make it white marble. So I tried my best to find all the reviews for the white marble um, contact paper and like I saw this one, it was on Prime so I got it and we're going to try it. Then storage and organization is a big thing for me. My man is over there drilling so if y'all hear anything, that's what it is. So I got this like cart that I can put under the sink and it kind of pulls out. I might put my hair products, like my hot tools and stuff in here, or I might put paper, uh, toilet paper to store it under the sink or something, but I just wanted to utilize the sink space. So I got this, again, it is in matte black and we do have to put it together, but I feel like it's gonna be so handy. And then, Keeping in the realm of storage, I am committed to making our drawers organized mm. this time around. So, I got like a 20, I forgot how much it is, a 16 piece set organizer, like the acrylic organizers, and they come in different sizes. Um, like they have the really small ones, um, the medium size, and then I have the really, like the bigger ones as well. So I'm so excited to like organize. I'm gonna put like my hair ties, um, our floss, cape, stuff like that um, in them and organize the drawers instead of just having everything thrown in and like chaotic and messy. Also too, I got some bigger ones as well. So this is a stackable drawer organizer. And it comes like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it. So it's like a drawer. I thought these were going to be bigger in size, but it's better than nothing. So you basically stack them on top of each other. 
and then you can put the drawer in like this. And again, I'm going to be storing like our lotions and stuff like that and just store it away in the drawers and all under the sink. So a couple more things we got. Um, I got some more of these black hooks. Again, they are metal for me to put our towels on and like my shower cap that I hang up while it's drying. I'm going to attach these to the wall or either the shower door um, so we could put, have somewhere to put our towels on. And they came in a set of four. So I have four of these. I'm also going to link everything in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested in anything that I'm showing you guys. This doesn't belong here. I got this at um, Target in the dollar section for to redo my laundry area as well. Then I got some black shelves. Again, for the shower. Um, again, it's metal and it comes in a set of two. And I think that's a good enough amount of space for our shampoo, body wash, and like conditioner. That's all you really need in the shower and like my scrubs. But I think that's more than enough and I love how sleek and clean they look. They also have like racks under where the water could drain out so it's not getting moldy and rusty. Last thing. In this Amazon order, bathroom-wise, as you guys see, we're on theme with the bathroom. We currently have silver faucets and silver everything in there. But off Amazon, it was about like $50, and it comes with a whole thing for the faucet. It comes with a new, like I love how modern and clean, how modern and clean this looks. So it comes as a whole set. I'm going to show you guys the before and after the bathroom once we switch everything over. So stay tuned. Now to get up. Good morning you guys so guess where we are on a sunday morning first we stopped i hope y'all can hear me sweetie first we stopped and got some smoothies and then we just went back to target to grab the different color dressers um our nights that nightstand that you guys just saw is the original nightstand that we had picked up weeks ago back to another target and get those again. Luckily, he found one that was built. It has a scratch on it. I'm trying to tell people he's talking about put it on his side. I'm like, whatever. Now we're on our way to Ashley Furniture to pick up the dresser that we bought last night. And then after that, we're probably gonna head home. We also bought a mattress yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned that. We bought a new mattress because we're upgrading from a queen bed to a king bed. Y'all know. We need a king bed, <laughs> but just the two of us, it's too small. Y'all know Pico big as hell. And with the baby, you know, you just want to have more space. The baby's not going to be in the bed. The baby's not going to be in the bed. Some more. Anyways. So yeah, that, that mattress is getting delivered tomorrow. Um, then today we're just going to work on renovating the bathroom or redoing the bathroom. We did the, we redid the, um, the laundry room yesterday. I didn't even show you guys that much, but that's done. I still need to get some more containers to go in there. But other than that, that's good. But yeah, you guys, just slowly getting everything together. I just wanted to vlog because yesterday I didn't bring you guys on the road with me. Um thought I should today so I'll show you guys the dresser it's already built I'll show you guys the dresser when we pick it up and then we're probably gonna get something to eat and then head home so yeah I'm here bumping bumping and grumping I'm not grumpy today actually goodbye 
you guys, Hugo is in here working on the bathroom. So this is how the bathroom look right now. We're gonna redo it and I'm gonna show you guys. All right, you guys, so we did some shopping. It's actually time to put our room together. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys along. I showed you guys the transformation of the room. Um, I showed you guys the bed and the nightstands that we put together. So now I'm just gonna put like the last little bit of touches, not really decorate, but um, add like the bedding and the rug and stuff. Um, so let's do that. I have my two guys here to help. I don't know why they're sitting on my bed. But let's get into it. Boys getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me those lies? Why would you make it so all to my face? Why are your stories all over the place? Whole lot of secrets friends don't keep safe. Where did your friends all go? I can't solve your problems. You say your problems never needed solving. I was too good till you should have stayed silent. Nice guys always finish off where they started. They shop who you wanted things and you got it. They shop who I wanted smoke and I got it. Days I pull, days I. Go back some more. Y'all gonna lift the bed and me and Caitlin gonna straighten out the back. Okay. And it gotta be even. We gotta look like the whole bed. <clears throat> Alright, so. Okay, what you see? This shit light. Like. Okay, down. I wanna run you out on this.